Hello everyone. A lot has been asking me of how can I upload my project from JavaNet Beans IDE 15 into my GitHub repo. So this tutorial is all about uh, accomplishing the task that you need to do. So first, let's create our repo in our GitHub account. So if you ha don't have a GitHub account, you need first to create your own GitHub account. And this is the sample project that we will try to upload in our GitHub account. So this project is titled Calculator. And what it does is that it computes the total grades or the average grade that is given on the application. So first, we will try to enter the student name. Let's write my name and the student number. Let's add any student number and uh, individual uh, points for each quizzes. So for the quiz 1, 80. Quiz 2, 20, and quiz 3, 60, 56. And as we press the calculate button, it will display the average rate of the three. So this is what this project does. So now let's try to upload it on the GitHub. First, let us create our REPL in our GitHub account. So just press uh, the plus sign and new REPL story. Since our project is entitled Calculator, it is best to follow the naming convention on our repo so that we don't we can get confused easily so let's add a simple description calculator for average read up then set a repo to public up to you you can set it on private and we can add a readme file then let's create our repository just click create repository and wait for it to load now we can see in here that our repository is already created then we can proceed to our ide which is the apache netbeans ide 15 and let's try to upload it first let's click on the main folder of the project not in here but in here and then just right click and then you will see a dialog box Please click the versioning and then another dialog box will appear and then click initialize git repository. So it will display the root path and then just click OK. And just wait until uh, the project will display a blue container in the side. That means that you had already uh, initialized your repository. Now. Let's try to right-click again and then on the dialog box, hover your mouse pointer into Git and then it will display another dialog box. And in here, we will try to commit. Basically, commit means uh, uh, it allows you to choose the files that you want to upload on your GitHub. In our case, it will automatically choose all the files inside your project. And then you can just uh, direct to commit. Just click the commit on the bottom part and then it will uh, display another dialog box and then just click yes. And then after that, hover your mouse again into the calculator project, another right click and then git again. And you can choose on the next dialog box, the remote. And then on the third dialog box, just click push so after selecting push it will display the repository url on where you want to upload your account or your project on where you want to upload your project so in here i uploaded a while ago another project and it automatically uh used the url account of the previous project i uploaded since we are uploading another project Let's delete this URL and replace it with a URL on our project. So uh, going back into our uh, calculator repository, you can see the green button in here with which have a label of code. Just click it and it will display in here the URL of your project. So to copy, you can just click in here. The icon and it will notify that you had already copied or you can just click on the url itself and then copy it either way it works now after copying the url uh, url of the uh, project 
you can go back to your IDE and then replace it with the URL of the repository. If I would try to upload my user credentials in here, like the username and the password that I uh, use in my GitHub account, and I will click Next. Just click the only box that you can tick, which is master to master, and then next, and then finish. Okay, so after uploading, and if there is another dialog box appear, even if I try to click OK for a multiple of times, it would still reappear. It's because that we are using the wrong credentials. Wrong means that even, even if we uh, input the correct password in here automatically means that we could successfully upload our project calculator it's because that our right password should not be the correct input in this part but a token that we will generate on our github account so first let's go back to our account and then hold, uh, click on your profile And then click the settings on the left side of the page of your uh, account profile you will see in here the developer settings so click that developer settings and then you should create a token access so this token access will uh, help you uh, customize on what are the access that you can do on the repository so just click the personal access token and then choose tokens classic and then click the generate new token okay you can choose uh, either of the two but you can just use this uh, generate new token classic okay so now you can uh, add notes in this part where it would help you remember or any description on what is the usage of the token that you will create so in this we have we will just we will just place calculator calculator access token and then for the expiration since um is for our personal use we could set our uh, expiration date to uh, no expiration and then since i am the only one using this repo I could just select all the scopes that I need. So I'll just click all of this. Means that I am giving access to all the usage or the settings of the repo by using this token on my project. And then generate token. So after generating the token, you can see in here that it has provided quick uh, details which is the token so you should copy this and then go back to your ide and then instead of inputting your uh, account password you just input your token that you copied and then click ok if this dialog box appears just click yes and then going back to your github and to your account and then let's find the repo that we created so it will notify us that we have a recent push which is the project that we have loaded a while ago and to check just click on two branches and then since it was uploaded in the master branch let's review if we have uh, uploaded all the files so in here the files calculator grid calculator grid output student is the same with the files on our project here in i id so we have created and uploaded our project successfully in our github account that's all and thank you